Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of July 6th through the 12th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to do you and the other person. I say this is your side and this is their side, but it can absolutely be reversed, okay? So you're going to be thinking about somebody. You're thinking about somebody right now. That's the person that we're talking about. But I have to tell you that sometimes another person's energy is so strong that they can override your reading. Okay? So just, you know, it's you and another person. Hopefully it's the person that you're asking about. Keep that in mind. The first card in the middle is going to be the connection or the resolution or the overall energy. So when I'm talking, I'm going to say this is your side. You use your own common sense. You use your own judgment, okay? So let's see. What do we got for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for July 6th through the 12th? Overall energy is the Queen of Wands reversed. So, the Queen of Wands reversed. That is, uh, you must be dealing with an individual that is very forceful. This is somebody that is self-righteous, uh, gossip, talks a lot, lies, nasty, jealous. Uh, the Queen of Wands in reversed is somebody that throws tantrums, okay, when they don't get their way. So, throws little fits, you know, is very controlling. This person may have a self-image problem. They may be uh, unhealthy. They may have some health issues. They, they could be one of those people that, you know, that's a hypochondriac. They got everything, every ailment in the world, okay? So this is, it typically is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, but it could be any sign. So this is somebody that is, they may be, see themselves as a victim. They may play the victim card, okay? Um, they may um, use blackmail on you, you know, emotional control. They like to control. They like to be in control. They do anything to be in control. So this is this is an overall energy between the both of you. There could be another person as well. The Queen of Wands in a reading can signify a third party. Okay, there could be another woman, even another man. Okay, it can because it's somebody that is promiscuous. Okay, so there's some, but there's some, there could be some cheating going on here. Um, what do we got? We got the Empress reversed right here. So this is a loose individual, somebody that is uh, has affairs. Somebody may be having an affair. They may be, you may not know their value. Definitely with these two cards reversed, this is low self esteem, low self worth, low self value. So we, we, and you know, third parties, the only reason somebody will get into a third party situation is because they don't know their value. Because they're not strong enough to get out of their marriage or their commitment. They're weak. And this is weakness. This is not wanting to deal with pain. So we have somebody here that doesn't want to deal with pain, but you have to deal with pain uh, to get your reward. Okay, to get the real re reward. So the Empress in reversed is is a woman, a feminine, okay, a feminine energy that doesn't take very good care of herself. She doesn't know her value. Uh, she stays in situations because she thinks she can't take care of herself. She has affairs. She um, is lazy. She's self-absorbed. She definitely has a poor self-image. Both of these cards, we have a we have a feminine here, and it happens. To, I you know it could be you. It could be that has a poor self-image that doesn't know their value. Okay, um, this is a lack of growth. Okay, so we have a feminine here that is refusing to grow. Okay, this is somebody that isn't very needy. Okay. Uh, Ten of Wands reversed. And the Four of Wands. So we have somebody that is in a commitment. They may be married or they're committed to something on this side, which appears, I think it could be your side because that's how I go with this. But this is needing to drop it, needing to let it go. This is holding you down. This is a mental collapse 
or a physical collapse with the Ten of Wands reversed. This is freeing yourself, making a conscious change to bring balance to your life. This is definitely about happiness. It's time to celebrate your life. You shouldn't be uh, living in a painful situation. You shouldn't. So I think that this week you will be focusing on some sort of internal pain. You think about contractions. I mean, she's in reverse. She hasn't delivered yet. So she's going to be, she, but she's ready to. So right now we got contractions. It's hurt. It's pain. It's getting ready to deliver. So, and it doesn't, and I'm not talking about an actual birth. I mean, it could be, but I'm using it as a metaphor. So to get to this point, to get to the point where you uh, are happy, okay, where you're happy, you're going to have to deal with some pain. So that's where we're at. Okay, you're going to have to face some pain to get your extreme happiness. Okay, it's like you think about a birth as the metaphor. When you get that baby in your arms, it's a miracle. It's, 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 it's a blessing. To get the blessing that you are looking for, you are going to have to experience some sort of pain. And that may involve letting something go that you have been holding on to. Can't do it anymore. I just can't do it anymore. Okay. That, that's that ball over there. That's, uh, well, I don't know. I got too many things. You see, she's dropped the load. She's dropped it. Okay, I think that you've 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 been trying too hard. You've been trying to make something work that isn't working. It's too much. Why hold on to something or a person that is promiscuous? Or if it's you, let it go. Anyhow, let's go over here. Knight of Cups reversed. The other person. Six of Pentacles. They're giving somebody something. Somebody is receiving their attention. Six of Cups reversed. So this is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Somebody from the past. You may be, or it's you, whatever side is yours, you know which one it is. Somebody is, is, is thinking about the past. They're wanting to go back to the past. They're dealing with somebody from their past. They're dealing with somebody that they, maybe that they went to school with, somebody from their childhood. Um, there, there's, uh, I mean, the, the, the Knight of Cups reversed is a seducer, heartbreaker. Okay, this is a heartbreaker. This is a, a emotionally unreliable Okay, this is this is like you're dealing with an individual who. Oh, this this is the other person. You're dealing with an individual that is emotionally unreliable. They they could be a narcissist. The knight of the knight of cups reverse could be a narcissist. This is somebody that has a lot of vanity. They can't handle stress. They uh, have probably been letting themselves go as well. They um, are passive. They procrastinate. They are unrealistic. They love bomb. You know, they are withdrawn. They uh, are manipulative. This person is very cunning. They involve themselves in one night stands. They're flirt. You're dealing. You're, you're, you're dealing with somebody that is very, very flirtatious. Um, and I feel like you, I don't know why you're staying in this situation when this person is, is giving to you and another person. I mean, who wants to be involved in a third party situation? You know, that's what it looks like to me. Maybe it's you, 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 you take this. However, just there's cheating here. I know that there is somebody is cheating and, and it's, it's like denial there's like denial of it i don't want to believe it. i don't want to accept it i just i want to pretend i want to pretend that everything is okay and everything is not okay everything is not okay okay so i feel as though that somebody has accepted somebody's offer of of love and somebody that they knew and, and, and whether they fully accepted it or not it, it could just be a sexual acceptance Okay, um, this is uh, the six of it's somebody that they know, it's somebody that they that they from their grade school. I don't know how that came out of my mouth. If it's not grade school, it's somebody that they knew a long time ago. Um, 
there's been some sort of reunion, okay? There's been a reunion with somebody from their past, put it that way, whoever you're dealing with. And I think that you, you may be in denial over it. I think you've been exhausted over the whole ordeal. Um, I think this person is very cunning. They are very clever. And they've made, this is very secretive, able to hide it. They've been able to hide it very well. Um, Queen of Swords reversed. So you're probably going to get angry. You're probably going to get angry. This this may be the king because of that crown down there is a little bit different. Um, the Queen of Swords reverse. I got sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. You can be an ex. Okay, that that could be an ex. So somebody may be dealing with an ex. So maybe maybe they dated in high school or whatever. But the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody don't care. Don't care about somebody else's feelings. Okay, you're dealing with an individual that really doesn't care about your feelings okay and like i said this could go vice versa somebody doesn't care about another person's feelings at all they're very cold they're very withdrawn all they care about is themselves a very selfish energy over here on this side very very selfish selfish emperor reversed angry somebody's gonna get angry this is this is a narcissist energy this is definitely a narcissist energy with that Knight of Cups reversed and the Emperor reversed. You, somebody is dealing with a very controlling masculine. Or it's a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a, a male per se, but it's a masculine energy. This guy or individual is very, very um, manipulative, very, very controlling, very, very dominant, very, very hard and cold. There's a lot of cold energy over on this side. Very, very, very cold. This person only cares about themselves. Whoever is in on this side only cares about themselves. Very, 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 very selfish. This person deserts you in the time of need. They are very entitled. They are entitled to whatever they want. They don't want to take responsibility either. They want you to take the responsibility. They, they see that you're vulnerable. They do. You may, you're, you may be married to this person or in a commitment with this person or something like that. Or something like that. But whoever you're dealing with is giving to more than just you. They are. They are. And you may just, you know, be choosing not to see it. The eyes closed here. Yes, they are. So, you know, it is what it is. If you got to open your eyes... You can't live in denial. Oh, God, the devil reverse. This is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. This is definitely tied to a situation that is unhealthy. Somebody is bound to an unhealthy commitment or situation. And it's time to sever those ties and stop going back and forth. This is like... Uh, suffering okay weakness you are allowing somebody to uh, cause you pain you must free yourself from this enslavement okay you need to break free this is the resolution break free find your strength that you have given away you have given away your power to an individual who thinks that you are weak they don't care if you're in pain You need to love yourself. The Ace of Cups is about self-love. Things will get better when you start to love yourself. This is an emotional release. You need to find your strength to release the pain that you are holding on to with whoever this person is. And I feel like this week... You're, you're probably going to, this is freedom from an individual that is very self-centered, very self-centered.
conceited. You're dealing with a conceited individual who has a humongous ego. Humongous. I think that this week, uh, this is very angry and withdrawn. Harsh words, packing up and leaving. Freedom from obligation. Some, you know, and this is freedom as well. So there may be some words said about. You know, breaking free. Whoever you are dealing with is very, very, very much all about themselves. And you need to love yourself. There's child problems here. There's mother problems. There's like an absent mother here that has, that has, uh, you know, they may have neglected her child when, when, uh, they were younger, so has has made you think that you're not worthy. Why don't you take care of that inner child? Take care of yourself. Take you take that little child. You know, when you were ten years old, go to that little ten year old child and 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 protect her, protect that person from this abuse. This is abuse. Anyway, good luck.